Questions and answers are based on the book Fish Processing Technology in the Tropics. Episode 15. Topic Drying. Choose the best answer. What is the main goal of drying in food preservation? A. Removal of salt from the product. B. Enhancement of product flavor. C. Prevention of mold growth. D. Removal of moisture from the product. What is the main goal of drying in food preservation? D. Removal of moisture from the product. How is drying different from dehydration? A. Drying is done by exposure to natural air currents, while dehydration involves artificial means. B. Drying is done by controlled and artificial means, while dehydration occurs naturally. C. Drying is a faster process than dehydration. D. Drying involves the addition of salt, while dehydration does not. How is drying different from dehydration? A. Drying is done by exposure to natural air currents, while dehydration involves artificial means. At what moisture content does drying prevent the growth of many spoilage organisms? A. Below 15%. B. Below 25%. C. Below 30%. D below 35%. At what moisture content does drying prevent the growth of many spoilage organisms? A below 15%. What is the moisture content at which mold growth is completely suppressed? A 5%. B 10%. C. 15%. D. 20%. What is the moisture content at which mold growth is completely suppressed? B. 10%. What natural elements are commonly used to aid the drying process? A. Water and sunlight. B. Wind and air currents. C. Fire and heat. D. Frost and ice. What natural elements are commonly used to aid the drying process? B. Wind and air currents. What does water activity measure in a foodstuff? A. The total amount of water present in the food. B. The ratio of vapor pressure in the product to that of pure water. C. The level of biological activity in the food. D. The availability of water for chemical reactions in the food. What does water activity measure in a foodstuff? B. The ratio of vapor pressure in the product to that of pure water. At what water activity level do most spoilage bacteria cease to grow? A. 0 0.9 or below. B. 2 or below. C. 2.5 or below. D1.5 or below. At what water activity level do most spoilage bacteria cease to grow? A. 0 0.9 or below. Below what water activity are most molds inhibited? A. 0 0.8. B. 1. C. 1.5. D, 0 0.9. Below what water activity are most molds inhibited? 
A 0 0.8. What is the typical moisture content, wet basis, at which most spoilage bacteria sees growth? A below 25%, B below 35%, C below 40%. D below 45%. What is the typical moisture content wet basis at which most spoilage bacteria cease to grow? A below 25%. How does the presence of salt affect the growth of common spoilage organisms? A. It promotes their growth at higher moisture content. B. It inhibits their growth at higher moisture content. C. It has no effect on their growth. D. It depends on the type of spoilage organism. How does the presence of salt affect the growth of common spoilage organisms? B. It inhibits their growth at higher moisture content. What can the water activity of a dried product help predict? A. The flavor profile of the product. B. The cooking time required for the product. C. The storage time of the fish. D. The nutritional value of the product. What can the water activity of a dried product help predict? C. The storage time. What are the different ways to express moisture content in a product? A. Wet and dry bases, salt-free and fat-free bases. B liquid and solid bases, organic and inorganic bases. C. High and low bases, surface and interior bases. D. Boiling and freezing bases, primary and secondary bases. What are the different ways to express moisture content in a product? A. Wet and dry bases, salt-free and fat-free bases. During which phase of drying does evaporation occur from the surface of the fish? A. Constant rate period. B. Falling rate period. C. Equilibrium period. D. Transition period. During which phase of drying does evaporation occur from the surface of the fish? A. Constant rate period. In which phase of drying does heavily salted fish form a salt crust at the surface? A. Constant rate period. B. Falling rate period. C. Equilibrium period. D. Transition period. In which phase of drying does heavily salted fish form a salt crust at the surface? A. Constant rate period. This phase is generally characterized by a slowly decreasing rate of drying. A. Constant rate period. B. Falling rate period. C. Equilibrium period. D. Transition period. This phase is generally characterized by a slowly decreasing rate of drying. B. Falling rate period. In general, evaporative drying requires a short drying time for A. Lightly salted fish B. Strongly salted fish C. Thicker fish D. Larger fish
In general, evaporative drying requires a short drying time for B. Strongly salted fish. The second phase of drying is referred to as the A. Constant rate period. B. Falling rate period. C. Equilibrium period. D. Transition period. The second phase of drying is referred to as the B. Falling rate period. What kind of fish is usually used to make dried in the round or whole fish? A. Sardines and anchovies. B. Tuna and mackerel. C. Parrotfish and rabbitfish. D. Salmon and trout. What kind of fish is usually used to make dried in the round or whole fish? A. Sardines and anchovies. How will you describe the color of dried in the round or whole fish? A. Bright white. B. Reddish brown. C. Dull white to yellowish. D. Pinkish. How would you describe the color of dried in the round or whole fish? C. Dull white to yellowish. What is the recommended maximum moisture content for commercial tuyo? A. 10%. B. 20%. C. 30%. D. 40%. What is the recommended maximum moisture content for commercial tuyo? D. 40%.